Color is fundamental to both static and motion design, and Animate includes a variety of tools to manage and apply color to your creations. We have a number of elements in here that have both stroke and fill. For instance, if I choose the moon by double clicking on it, we can see it is a shape with both stroke, which is this orange, and fill, which is a lighter yellow color. Now we are able to change either of these colors from simply clicking the little color chip here and either choosing a new color from our various swatches or by clicking on the color wheel to change the color using the color picker. We can also access color from the color panel. Once again, we can choose between stroke and fill color. So if I have fill color selected, any adjustments I make is going to change the fill color, as you can see. Once we change a color in the color panel, we can also add it to our swatches for reuse. I'll click Add to Swatches, and then jump over to the Swatches panel, and as you can see, the swatch is applied right here. Aside from creating colors within Animate itself, you can also create colors inside of external applications, such as the Adobe Capture CC mobile application for iOS and Android. We can share those colors with CC libraries in order to use them in our applications, including Adobe Animate. So if I wanted to choose one of these colors, As you can see, the color is selected here, and adding to swatches is going to add that specific color to my swatches. Now at any point, I can actually convert any of these swatches to a tag swatch. So let's say that I choose my cloudy sky element right here, and if I go into my color panel, and add to swatches, this blue color from my clouds, switch to my swatches panel, and with that cloud color selected, I can choose to convert this to a tag swatch. Once I do this, I can give it a name. I'll call this cloudy and hit okay. This now appears within my tagged swatches, and you can see it's got a little white triangle at the bottom right hand corner. This is also displayed in the properties panel for anything that the tag swatch is applied to. If I go ahead and shift click to select other elements of my animation, I can apply that same tag swatch to those elements as well. With a tag swatch applied, I can go into my swatches panel and double click on that tag swatch in order to further manipulate it. So perhaps I want to go ahead and make it a bit darker. Once I do that and hit OK, you'll note that every element inside of my animation that that tag swatch was applied to automatically changes and updates to the manipulations I've made to the tag swatch. These are just some of the ways that you can manipulate, manage, and preserve colors within Animate CC.